Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Tourist Trophy. Today is episode number nine. If you guys do want to stay up to date with the rest of the Tourist Trophy series, then make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell. And make sure to check out the links in the description for our socials. We've got Instagram, Discord, and Twitter. But hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. And here we go, Kawasaki ZRX 1200R. Finally got the bike. Multiple attempts that took. Beyond belief. But that was that was tricky. That was very tricky. But next up is the Kawasaki Z1000. Oh, it is a different bike, yeah. I want a black one. I want a black bike. And we're going back to the midfield raceway now. Right, here we go. Midfield raceway, the Kawasaki. Oh, come on, come on, come on. What the hell was that? That was rubbish. Just straight past the corner. Okay, slow down now. There we go. That was much better. Don't want to overshoot the corner too much. Because then big crash happens. Nice. Noise. This is going really well. Perfect. Oh, look at the wobble on the front of the bike there. That was insane. That is such a dodgy corner too. Because you have to be braking in the corner beforehand to also slow down for the second corner. Which is so sort of not natural. It's not a natural way of slowing down. Right, slow down now. Awesome. Nice. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, we have shot that corner a little bit. Catching up with the bike now, the other one. Awesome. And there we go, we're past. Let's see how well this lasts. Oh, no, no, no. Brilliant. We just needed to hold them off. 2 minutes 23.656 though. Very good. Very nice. And here we go, Kawasaki Z1000 from 2005. That's a very good bike. I like a lot. It's a very, very nice bike. I do like bikes, but like, I don't like bikes at the same time, if that makes sense. There's just something about them that seems too dangerous for me. But uh, next up, Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R. And I fancy a titanium look for this one. So uh, we're going to the special stage route 5. Let's go. Here we go. Let's go. Oh, I. Something tells me I wasn't ready for the speed of this bike. This thing is quick. Wow. That was a good exit there. Let's see if we can get around here. Perfect. The thing I like about this game as well is there's no upgrade, so it makes it slightly easier to do races because of the fact that there isn't an upgrade thing. So 
cards you have to max out to get anywhere near beating opponents if you want to use it. It's just a simple pick a bike, you'll probably win. Obviously, you need to pick one that's powerful enough, but like, you'll have most of the bikes anyways because of doing these challenges and getting the bikes. It's not too much of a problem. Whoa! I was not ready for that. <laughs> I pulled back on the thumbstick and it just went. This thing is a powerful bike, I, but very uncontrollable at the same time. I'm hoping I can catch him on the straights. Awesome. Maintain a wheelie. Very nice. Perfect. Look at that. Finally, we can see the other bike. See if we can catch him on this lap. I think this is the last chance, though. Only two laps, I think. Oh. A little bit of a wobble there through that corner. Managed to keep it controlled, though. Very stable. Or a very good recovery. And actually, we did have an extra lap. Because we've got two laps left. So this would be... Next one would be the last. I think that's how it's structured. It's a very weird way. But yeah, there we go. 223.961. Awesome. That is very good. Very, very good. Here we go. Kawasaki Ninja. I think this is the second Ninja now. Obviously, the Ninja Superbikes are like insanely powerful by Kawasaki. So I'm not surprised that we nearly crashed multiple times in that. During that. I'm not surprised at all. But uh, next up is the Ninja 12R this time. Slightly older bike. But based on the fact that the number's higher, I would presume it's more powerful. So let's go. Oh, we can pick red. I'm going to take red for this one. Back to special stage route 5. Right, here we go. This bike seems a little bit more stable, actually. But, um, again, I think it's because it's slightly heavier, too. Yeah, it's much easier to corner through these longer corners. And you can take a much higher speed as well through them. Decent. And the size of those tires at the back. Absolutely massive. Oh, careful, nearly. Also, right, let's see how well we can take this corner then. That is normally a questionable corner, but we did it very well indeed. Oh. The corner afterwards, though, the exit wasn't great. So uh, definitely room for improvement there. We can see the bike. Oh, bit of contact. Urgh, that wasn't great. Luckily, we kept the bike on two wheels. So uh, we can still carry on. I really do think it's just the Laguna Seca that I have a massive problem with in this game. Yeah, wheelies aren't happening today. Right, let's go all the way over to this side and get ready. Massive braking zone. Bring it in. Bring it round. Very long sweeping corner there. Managed to nail it perfectly though. Watch it. Sketchy there. Very nice. And across the line. 
222.416. I'll take it. That was good. That was a good one. That was a good one. Nice. And here we go. Kawasaki Ninja ZX12R. Awesome. I am looking forward to doing like proper long races in this. Hopefully we do get some. But yes, I'm looking forward to uh, racing properly. Because obviously we're just doing challenges. We got ourselves another Kawasaki Ninja ZX6R this time. And it's a racing modify. So let's do this. Here we go. Kawasaki Ninja, a racing bike this time. Let's do a little bit of a wheelie. Hopefully it'll be a good luck charm for us. And we have two bikes to overtake this time. I think this is the first one where we've had multiple bikes on Kawasaki. Which is awesome. But uh, we got to get it right. We got to get it right. Yeah. Also, around the outside there. Using the rear brake just to keep the bike steady through these corners. Making sure it doesn't go too fast. And already we may be catching up enough to overtake the bike ahead. Whoa! Oh, that was close. Nice. Here we go, here we go, here we go. We're overtaking. Oh. Hey, we just about got it. 1 minute 13.260. Very good. GG's. And here we go. Kawasaki Ninja ZX 6R Racing Modify. Very nice. And because it's a racing modify... We can put on our magic number, number 69. <laughs> uh, I don't know why it's funny. It just is for me. But there we go. And next up is the Kawasaki ZRX 1200 Racing Modified. This is a very weird looking bike. But uh, we are around the Fuji Speedway 90s, which is an absolute nightmare to drive. So, wish me luck. Right, here we go. Let's do this. Look at those springs compress. That's actually really cool for a game of this time to actually look fairly realistic. Awesome. That was a good first corner there. Brilliant. Right, let's keep it on the inside and we can get round this bike. Perfect. Oh, slow down, slow down. Let's get round. Brilliant. Very nice. We've got the chicane coming up now. Awesome. Right, we're going for the second lap now. I don't know if we'll catch this bike on the main street, but hopefully we can catch him at some point. Looks like we are going to catch him on the main straight. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven. Perfect. Do you know what? We're going to floor it. We're not even going to break. The bike's going to go flying across the end. Or maybe not. Very interesting. Apparently the AI, AI is pretty decent. Very good. Look at that, though. We were against a 97 horsepower bike against 133. That's uh, a bit unfair. And here we go. The Kawasaki Racing Modified Bike ZRX 1200R. Let's put our special number on. 
Number 69 again. On the side panels there. Oh, look at that. It's a different font to what uh, the rest of them have. Here we go. Final bike. Super. You need the super license to do this one. And this is the Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R Racing Modify. This is going to be amazing. Finished within 1 minute and 44 seconds. So it's the same as the final one on the Honda. So let's do it. Right, here we go. We have an amazing view of the front of the bike, which is stunning. Hopefully we can do a very good job on the first lap. Obviously, our target is 1 minute 44 for the last one. So, I'm guessing it might be just like every single super bike like this is exactly the same, pretty much. And you have to beat that time. Which would be pretty cool. Uh, but I hope there's sort of some form of variety. Because I love variety. If you give me, right, the same car but multiple different tracks... Or the same track, but multiple different cars. Both of them I love. Just because of the fact that you will have something new every single time. As soon as you repeat events and do the same car on the same track too many times. Or the same bike. Whatever. It gets a bit boring. That's why Forza Motorsport 7 got a bit boring for me. Because it was like the same stuff over and over again. There wasn't much excitement. Fucking hell. <laughs> that was rubbish. Horrendous. But there we go. Let's see if we can get it this time. Perfect. Come on, come on. Let's get around here. Brilliant. Nice. Probably could have gone onto the throttle a little bit earlier. Oh no! Rubbish! Right, here we go, attempt number three. We've fallen off a couple of times, but these um, super bikes can be quite difficult to control. So, uh. Um, Kind of not surprised that we've fallen off. Fuck me. Alright, attempt number four. Let's do it. The uh, past few times that we've fallen off has literally been due to going too fast. And these things are too quick. They are on the edge of grip at all times, no matter what. Awesome. Let's get around this one, this corner. Brilliant. Trying to keep it steady through these corners is a challenge. Because you don't want to put too much throttle into the bike. Or the rear wheels just won't want to grip at all. Awesome. Let's slow down now. I think earlier might be safer. Well, we got very close to the inside line there. Very close to falling off the bike then. 
easily. And that corner always catches people out as well. Because it looks on the minimap not a tight corner, but it is very tight. What the fuck? Right, here we go. Attempt number five. This bike is very uncontrollable when you um, try and brake. Just braking is not as good thing. It's quick, but it doesn't want to slow down. Why did it shift up? Okay. Yeah, this is why you don't play on automatic mode, because the gears always shift at the wrong times. But sometimes, if you're not used to bikes, can be an absolute nightmare. We haven't completed one lap yet. We keep falling off. Because we are pushing the bike to its limits. That was a much better exit than any of the other times we've done that. Perfect. You sort of have to make a much, much longer, like, breaking line and breaking zone. Awesome, awesome. Nice. Okay, okay, we may get it. Hey, there we go, 143.6. That was a decent time. But that is challenge complete. I'm so glad it's not like a bronze, silver, gold thing for these ones, because that would be next to impossible for me to do. And here we go, Kawasaki Ninja ZX-10R Racing Modify. Look at it though, it doesn't have any headlights. That seems really off for me. Like, I'm normally used to seeing bikes with headlights, not without them. But that is very good. And we got the classic 69 number as well. But that is every single Kawasaki bike done. And we can move on to the next one now. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button or hit that merch link in the description. And don't forget to check out the description for our social links. We have Instagram, Discord and Twitter. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.